Now, let's try to define the angle between two vectors. So, angle between two vectors. First of all, if somebody shows two vectors in this manner, let's say this is vector A and this is vector B. And for instance, assume this angle is 60 degree and this angle is 300 degree. By convention, the angle between the two vector is always taken the smaller one. That means here the angle between two vector if I represent by theta that has to be equals to 60 degree. It is simply a matter of convention and you will always be taking the smaller angle between the two vectors. So if the angle is always the smaller one I can always write that theta will always be less than 180 degree or in the last case that has to be equal to 180 degree and on the left hand side it would be greater than or equal to 0 degree that is how we define for example if I have one vector A and if I have other vector B in this case the two vectors are parallel and the angle between the two vectors here would be 0 degree. For the other instance, if one vector is here and if other vector is here, in that case, the angle between the two vector is 180 degree. That is how we define the angle. This is clearly done by observation, but care should be taken when we define the angle in this situation. But I would like to show you that while you define the angle, there is one point of mistake. You should properly see how the vectors are kept. The starting point of the vectors are at the same. That means beginning from the same point. Like if you have one vector here and if you have another vector here and say this angle is 120 degree and this angle is 240 degree. Now you may conclude or you may falsely conclude that this is the vector the smaller angle is 120 degree so you may say the angle between the vector is 120 degree but that is wrong. Okay the smaller angle is 120 but you should properly stick on this form. You could see the two vectors have the same starting point they begin from the same point but here the scenario is different. So the first point is if you want to calculate the angle between the two vectors the first job you have to do is bring in this standard format. Now the question comes how to find the angle in this situation? That means you have to bring it in a standard form and how to bring it in the standard form that is yet to be done as of now just hold it up to the discussion now we are not able to calculate the angle in this form but if it is in this form then we can readily calculate the angle but this is also possible that requires a small discussion and we'll see it shortly then now after discussing the angle we now go to the type of vectors The first type of vector that you have is a free vector and one good example of a free vector is velocity. Now let's see what does the term free vector represents. Suppose somebody says that the velocity of a moving car is 5 meter per second northeast. then I can represent the vector here. 
this is 5 meter per second and if it is northeast this angle has to be 45 degree but somebody says well instead of showing here I would like to show the velocity at this point and somebody writes this as 5 meter per second and this angle as 45 degree for this given statement this and this both the representation are equally good you may even make another arrow at this point but as long as it is at 45 degree with the x-axis the representation is a perfect one that means you can pick it up and displace anywhere as long as the angle is same that means the displacement should be parallel to itself the representation is always going to be correct so one good property we can bring in free vector is that it is unchanged if displaced parallel anywhere that's a given situation but you should keep in mind it should be displaced parallel so that the angle part would always be same so I'll come back to the same example how to find the angle between the two vectors now in this given situation as we have already seen that the two vectors should come in this form so therefore what would I do is that if this is a vector and if this is B vector I would pick it up parallel to itself that means I pick it up and I bring it here look as long as this line and this line is parallel if this is B vector this is also B vector so now you could concentrate on this arrow and this arrow you could easily see this angle would be 60 degree and the other bigger angle is 300 degree but by convention we take the angle between the two vectors as the smaller one so the correct answer would be 60 degree so therefore I was saying that you have to first of all bring in the standard format and we brought it and we thus calculated the angle between the two vectors so now the first type we discussed is a free vector the second part we have is a fixed vector The fixed vector means you don't have the privilege to displace anywhere parallel to itself. For example, if I say position of a particle from a given fixed origin. So in that case, if I have a coordinate system and there is a point and this point's position is exactly fixed from the origin. So this is a position vector. So since you said it is position with respect to origin, if you displace it, well, the magnitude would not change, the angle with the axis would not change, but you would lose the idea it's measured from the origin. So therefore, you are not able to displace this position vector. So that would come in the example of a fixed vector. Let's see some more examples. 